Marquez have sold nearly 40 million albums and have racked up dozens of top 10 hits. We love them. They have now joined forces for a tour called An Acoustic Evening with Rick Springfield and Richard Marks. Go online for tickets and info. Please welcome Rick Springfield and Richard Marks. <laughs> Briefly We're backstage. besties now. Okay. Close. He knows I like it. everybody. It's insane. <laughs> uh, I have no, I have no friends. And Richard, I'll mention someone. Oh yeah, he's a good friend of mine. I have so friends already like that. Met that all they know everyone. You know all these guys too, Richard. You I know Steve <laughs> and then <laughs> Becky and Just pointing people out. <laughs> well, we're all singers. She's in a band as well. No way. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's on a slightly different level. Don't d don't belittle <laughs> okay. it. No, that's little, awesome. Little cover band with my girlfriends yeah. every so often. Yeah, that's fun. Do some wow. Shows. You play yeah. anything or is... just singing? I sing. Great. Yeah. yeah. Just right. singing, I sing. <laughs> Just singing, okay. I sing. Hey, the vocal cords can be hard to do sometimes. That's so. my instrument. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's mine. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. When did y'all meet? I'm curious. Tinder. T Tinder. What? Yeah, yeah. I was. Tinder. Um, I was like, are you gonna have a different answer? Yeah, Wait. I, was going I swiped. Online. I was lonely. You know. I, I swiped. Was it right? Love how, at first you, sight? how else do you think you meet Rick yeah. Springfield? You, exactly. <laughs> no, he uh, he came. He and his wife came to see me. I was playing at the Greek Theater in L.A. Yeah. In 1941, I think it was. Shut up. Uh, no, in like the late 80s. Yeah. And, um, and my tour manager said, hey, Rick Springfield and his wife are here. And I was like, shut up. Yeah. Because I was a fan. And of my wife. Of his wife. <laughs> and we, uh, we just hit it off, and then we started hanging out. Yeah, that's awesome. And here we are with you fine people. Becky. <laughs> um, wait, so I, I hear, is this true that you got into the music business? You were inspired by Lionel Richie? Is that what well, kind I mean, of... I was uh, my first job in the record business was singing background vocals for him. What? I, I didn't 18. know this. Yeah. Oh, so this is true story. Look so next time you hear, no, baby, all night long, all night, that's me. <gasps> You're welcome. Thank you. Actually, I did not know that. Yeah, that was my first job as a background vocalist for him on his record. Was it your goal? It was really my goal to be background singer because I love to sing different genres of music. Yeah. And they never let artists do that. You, we get pigeonholed mostly. And so my goal was to do that because I wanted to sing with all these people that I love. Was that an initial goal or did you always want to be solo? I always wanted to be an artist, but I, you know, I was getting rejected by all the labels for the first few years and yeah. to make a living to pay my rent. I got a lot of work as a background singer. No, I, mean, I did backup stuff too, yeah. Yeah. 20, but, 20 feet from stardom, right? Yeah. Right. Um, so wait, so why the acoustic tour? I love an acoustic tour. Like, I love my band. They don't like hearing that. Um, but I love, but I do love when we break it down. They know that. Like, on, even we just recently did shows. I love breaking it down. Even when you have a full band, but you still kind of make it the acoustic yeah. vibe. I think that that's like the best vibe to listen uh, to music. Well, I think it started because, uh, um, we, we have a relationship, you know, uh, usually when you go out with another artist, a lot, I would think, most of the time, you know, they just get together and they rehearse and it's, it's what it is. But we've been friends for so long that we were very, you know, we have a, a, a banter, you know, and a yeah. relationship. And we thought, if you're doing a band thing with a big, loud band, most of the time when someone's talking on stage at a band show, it's like, yeah, you know. And, yeah. but, but at an acoustic show, you can actually talk to people and, and we can make jokes. And it, We it's... work very blue. Yeah, in our... we're very blue. You know what that means? <laughs> no. A lot of swearing, oh. a lot of inappropriate banter in between songs. But I would not, I would not know what heard. you mean. <laughs> Like, I'm like, very classy. I saw, I saw the promos. I yeah, saw you the <laughs> it's promos. like I'm very pro, uh, very, very so classy. It, but when I, I was saying this earlier today, like I think that the sh our show, because this, you know, a lot of times when, also when people uh, team up, which is a very popular thing. Yeah. Um, and we've done this too before, where you one person does their set, another person does their set. Maybe you do a song together. Yeah. This is us together the whole show. Mm -hmm. We just take turns doing our songs and yeah. we're backing each other up. Yeah. And that's really musically fun, but the show is what happens in between the songs. 
<laughs> is this what we get at the show? I love it. No, I do think that it's really cool, though, to show a different level of intimacy, too, to your fans. Like, they've seen the big shows, right? Like, it's cool. Like, to break it down and to feel like you're in the living room with them and, like, you're, like, you know, you're just hanging out and they get they get so, to see a different side yeah, of you, which I think is so vibe. cool. The, the, yeah. the, the uh, band show is, you know, pedal to the metal all the way through. Which is fun. Yeah, no, it's yeah. great. I, I love both. And uh, when I'm not doing one, I miss the other one. Uh, but yeah. this is this is a little different because there's a real camaraderie on stage. You'll you know? probably have what? to cut this out, but I'm going to say it anyway. What I call this tour is the Dick Squared Tour. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Squared. <laughs> we are not invited. <laughs> we are lacking. No, no, I will be there. <laughs> All right, we need no segue there. We need another Goddamn. commercial break, but in Goddamn, honor of babe. these songwriters, we've got a game of song lyrics coming up next. If Allison loses, she has to ride the slingshot again and give us the footage. We'll be right back. Oh. <laughs>